A defeated John DeGenkolb will wonder what if. Long after coming out of contention in Paris Roubaix, I usually hate this race, but today I absolutely love it, said Paris Roubaix winner Machu van der Poel after winning his first hell of the North race. And despite all dark aspects queen of the classics, no one can deny endless magic Paris Roubaix. This year's race was fastest ever since the Paris Roubaix started in 1896, and it was as dramatic and brutal as any of previous 119 races. After shaking off his fiercest rival, Wout van Aert, at end of Carrefour de El Arba with 15 kilometers to finish, van der Poel traveled alone around Roubaix's velodrome to retrieve fourth monument of his career. There was sense of what if when van Aert blew up at crux of the race, but even most stubborn Belgian fans will admit that van der Poel never took a wrong step and therefore deserved his second memorial in just over a month. When van der Poel was left alone on his way to Roubaix, there was no sign that he lacked the strength or stamina to win. Van der Poel's victory was just one story in a race where emotions changed from the brutal misfortune of Van Aert's eruption to the joy of Jasper Philipsen, whose devoted hard work was rewarded with a fine second place alongside Dutch teammate Alpersen de Suninck. No one will forget Tears veteran John de Genkel, who was in front group and performed at a level that evokes memories of 2015 victory, but will see his luck swept away when he is axed to side a road after three crashes. Road confusion with Philipsen and Van der Poel at Carrefour de El Arba. There were also brave race finishers such as Carl Patrick Lorque, the last name in the results table, and Josh Tarling, Rubik's youngest 86-year-old racer. Every participant in Inferno of the North and everyone who reaches Rubik's velodrome leaves with a story to remember. Photographer Chris all spent a long, grueling but rewarding day on roadsides and fields of northern France to witness the highlights and get a stunning view from inside race. Look no further than our gallery to enjoy the stunning visualization of the 120th edition of Paris Roubaix. Related Gallery of Paris Roubaix Fam 2023 Ineos Grenadiers led a fence in the early stages of race unsurprisingly. Fans of favorite Wout van Aert were in full swing throughout the course. A view down the peloton, Fred Wright crashes in a Renberg Matteo Trentin leads one of the early cobblestone industries Peter Sagan endures one last Paris Rubix, to forget after crashing in the second sector concentration. On Andrea Pasqualon's face cobblestones hit Paris Rubix peloton hard Vega at stake lane among a group of followers cobblestones and fans curve into the distance, is the race soon. Just watch out for the oncoming TV helicopter Alpes and Desunink duo Jasper Philipsen and Mathieu van der Poel are among the favorite band in a cobbled industry German champion Nils Pollitt follows 35th place fans filled the route to see their favorite drivers tackle the sport's toughest roads. Of course, they are all fitted for riders far behind the front of the race. Will you ride on top of the cobblestones or go to the gutter? Sometimes it's about doing your best riders, show effort, and concentration, when riding on rough roads. Philipsen, De Genkolb, Pedersen, Van der Poel The best of the best Van Aert gets behind the wheel of Van der Poel on the cobblestones fans applaud riders in the famous Pont Jiba sector no. The other favorites were still there despite their multiple attacks. Mads Pedersen leads the group of favorites late in the race Philipsen, did a lot of work on behalf of its leader, Van der Poel. John de Genkolb shows the effort on his face Van der Poel in front of the band, followed by Van Aert and Philipsen Gunner Corners de Genkolb and Pedersen Wout Van Aert on the attack on the last five-star sector in Carrefour de El Arba Van der Poel begins the chase as the only man who can follow Gunner and can pursue the big two Van der Poel entered the velodrome alone after Van Aert erupted 15 kilometers ago. The Dutchman had time to savor his victory, one lap ahead of everyone else. A fourth memorial title in the bag as Philipsen celebrates a tour van Aert and Philipsen follow tactics, before finishing sprint photographers fill in van der Poel as the Soigne holds him after great effort further back. Philipsen, 
did a 1-2 for Alpecin de Suning de Genkold crosses the line devastated after the Carrefour de El Arba accident faces of the end. Connor Swift Mate, Mohoric, after the finish Stefan, Kung gives an interview at the velodrome, couldn't be consoled after John de Genkold. Finished the race effort on Eve Lampate's face time to check your riding stats after six hours in the saddle Lewis Askey rests after hard work on the cobblestones Alberto Danes makes his debut in Paris Rubik's final podium Van der Poel. Philipsen and Van Et shower time for those who reach Rubik's de Genkolb swept away disappointment German made him smile despite his unlucky day old velodrome showers a part of the Paris Roubaix's experience torrential rain marks the end of the race and a long, long day what's included in a cycling news subscription. We use our subscription fees to keep producing more premium tracks like this one alongside our usual great content. Find out more here.